Hey, uh, welcome to your May bonus reading. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So this bonus reading, we are going to take a little bit of look at love, life, and advice for you. So whatever didn't resonate for you in your monthly readings, my goal here is to maybe give you something that will resonate. So may, may or may not be for everybody. Please keep that in mind. So please only take the messages that resonate with you. Uh, and throw away the rest. It could be past, present, or future. Time is fluid. It can be interchangeable, um, however it works for you. So we're going to take, again, love, life, advice, and clarify all the energy with tarot. I'll be pulling a couple um, oracles from each deck here. So I hope everybody's staying safe and healthy at this time. Hope everybody's doing well. All right, so this is a new deck for me by James Van Prague. This is the Power of Love Oracle. So we're going to pull a couple here. I'll pull one and then the bottom of the deck. We'll do that for each oracle. Then we'll clarify all the energies with tarot for this bonus reading. And this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, male or female. General collective reading, not a private reading. But if you would like a private reading, all that information is below. Along with tons of other information. So please go check that out if you would like to. It would be greatly appreciated. And... If you're new, check out my channel, like what you see, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that great stuff. Hit the bell, won't miss out, and you get about four or five readings a month. And if you do, thank you so much. Okay, Leo, collective, sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter, male or female, general collective. Wow, that's way too many. I just want one. Let's see what's going on in love and this May bonus. For Leos out there, please, Spirit, thank you so much. Can we get one card for Leo? One card for Leo. Take that one. The bottom of the deck. You know what? I think I'm just going to go and pull all of them, and then I'll reveal all of them. And then we'll get into the tarot, and then we'll clarify the energies for you. So let's take a look at life. All the decks are listed below also, if you are interested in what decks I am using. Okay. Leo, General Collective, Summer Rising, Venus, Jupiter, male or female. What's going on in love? Love, life. This is the life portion for Leos for this May bonus spirit, please. Thank you so much. Can we get one card for Leo? And then we'll do the bottom of the deck. Take one from the bottom. What is the most? Okay, that one one all right one more deck here this is a guardian angel oracle and i don't really see many people use this deck but it's a cute little deck so let's see what the guardian angels advice are for you for this may bonus reading for leo sun moon rising venus jupiter male or female for the collective spirit please thank you so much what is the Guardian Angel, messages of advice, guidance for Leos, for this bonus reading. Spirit, please, please bring forth the messages most needed to the general collective. Oh, that's too many. Please, thank you so much. Okay, that one. And the bottom of the deck. All righty. Let's see what we have for you, Leo. Let's see what's going on in love. We have self-love. You realize that love is... That love of self is necessary to love another. And we have present. You live in the moment and are able to bring forth the energy of love in your current circumstances. So I feel like being in the present, being in the now, having self-love, self-worth, self-value, you know, knowing uh, who you truly are, loving yourself and being in the present moment here will help you bring love to another. So, you know, they always say you have to love yourself first, fill your cups first before you can love another truly, holy um, honestly, unconditionally. So having unconditional love for yourself will uh, put you in the energy of presently giving somebody also that unconditional love. So maybe needing to uh, love yourself a little bit more. And if it's not that energy, it could be, you know, just taking care of yourself more, you know, getting more sleep, getting, you know, more exercise, resting, rejuvenating, you know, taking care of yourself also. All right, so let's see what's going on in the life. Well, we have the Ace of Spring. It's time to take action. Be fearless and happily pursue your most treasured dreams, amazing career opportunities. This is the Ace of Wands. This is exciting new endeavor, uh, project, idea. 
It could be a new job offer. It could be some sort of new beginning here. Very fiery, passionate, exciting. Something uh, that would spark uh, something in your soul. It's a good energy. And we are in spring right now. And now we have the king of winter. Now, uh, knowledgeable, experienced, fair-minded, unemotional. Get advice from someone, professional and objective, public speaking, unemotional relationships. So this is the king of swords. So if this is a new opportunity for some of you, if it's a new job, if it's a new creative idea, if it's a new project, endeavor, maybe you need, I mean, the king of winter, it's the king of swords, can be legal counsel, legal advice, a counselor, um, somebody professional. So if you're starting on a new creative idea, project, endeavor, business, home business or whatever, make sure you get all the details. You may have to seek out professional, somewhat professional, um, that can set you forth on this journey the correct way. So that's kind of the message I'm getting with that. Could be anybody. It could just be, you know, a lawyer. It could be a counselor of some kind, uh, somebody that you know that's very knowledgeable, smart, wise, um, has a lot of knowledge about business, law, and that kind of energy. All right, so let's see what your advice is. Nurturing. So we have green here, which represents the heart chakra. And again, kind of reminds me over here of this self-love. So nurturing yourself, taking care of yourself. And ascension, red here. So I believe that is, so green represents, each color represents um, a different angel. So let's see, um, green represents Archangel Raphael. And red represents, let's see, Archangel Uriel. So Raphael and Uriel, so if you are familiar with Archangels or Guardian Angels here, um, those are maybe two angels you may want to work with or do research on. Um, Archangel Raphael here with the green is about healing, scientific discovery, intellectual uh, capability. And then Archangel Uriel is beauty and enlightenment so you know ascension could be anything it could spiritual ascension um just having more peace harmony tranquility harmony in your life somehow you know having um raising your vibration in some way also i feel like by nurturing yourself you you will raise your vibration uh and center like a higher level within yourself leo all right, let's clarify these energies for Leo. Let's see what's going on for you, Leo. Spirit, please, thank you so much for the Leo Collective. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, male or female for the General Collective. Let's clarify these energies for Leo. Spirit, please, thank you so much. Clarifying the energies for Leo. All right. What is the self-love and being in the present and now you live in the moment and are able to bring forth the energy of love in your current circumstances? So we have the Queen of Swords, we have the Three of Wands, and we have the Seven of Swords. So the Queen of Swords here, um, it's kind of like the King of Swords, but this is truth, clarity, cutting away energy is no longer serving you, telling like it is, standing up for yourself. Three of Wands, spot patiently waiting for something to come in. Um... But then you have the Seven of Swords, which is, can be like a deceitful, sneaky kind of energy or just sneaking and getting out of a situation, kind of like in a sneaky way. So let's see. Let's get more energy before I try to figure out what this is about. So I feel like some, you know, you could be having truth and clarity about um, somebody. I feel like if you're in the present moment now having self-love, if someone has not been up and on the up and up with you, if they've been deceitful, not honest, but you've been waiting and waiting and waiting to really, you know, cut this person out of your life due to having self-worth and love for yourself and realizing, you know, um, I am worth more than this sneaky, tricky kind of energy. So let's see what else in love here for Leo. Nine of Cups. So nine is about a single energy. This is wish fulfillment, happiness, and joy. So some of you may want to go single, cut a person out here who's, who's only been sneaky, deceitful, 
but you haven't been doing it, you've been putting it off, you've been waiting, and it's telling you now to be in the present of having self-love for yourself, doing what's best for you, to your own fulfillment. Yeah, this person may leave you with just, you know, a lot of broken-hearted energy, pain, hurts. You know, there could be in and out kind of energy. And now it's probably time here to have that self-love, put up that sword. <laughs> know that you are the empress that you truly are of having that self-value worth. Everything that I just said, knowing you're worth more than what this energy is that they're presently giving you. They're not giving you the energy you deserve. So now standing in your empress power and putting up that sword and saying no more and moving on and finding your Wish fulfillment, peace, happiness, joy elsewhere, whether it's just being single or whatever. So presently, if that's the energy you're sitting in, you've been putting it off. The Queen of Swords is here, and that's also my divine intervention, my divine clarity card, like from the universe. Uh, that King, Queen, Ace of Sword energy. All right, so let's see what this Ace of Spring and King of Winter is. Wow, the Hierophant. So this could be learning something new. Um, thus speak of commitment, doing what's moral, just, and right, learning, higher learning, uh, institution and institutional things such as law, government, learning, um, kind of you know integrity, that kind of energy, the tower. So this may be a surprise or a shock that comes into you of some sort of new proposal or new beginning that may uh, come into you somehow and it's like a shock or surprise the tower doesn't have to be bad it could be a shock surprise aha moment epiphany what else here what else here so yeah indecisive indecisive not sure what to do with this whatever this is that's that may come your way or has come your way that was a shock surprise epiphany or something here and uh you know you may need to you know, get higher levels of learning about this situation that is being presented to you. But the King of Winter here is saying, you know, maybe getting uh, professional guidance of some kind, legal advice, or something like that, so you can make this decision on this. Yeah, because you don't, you don't know all the facts. You don't see all the things clearly. You're unsure. Um, you may have some fear about this, you know, making this decision or this new opportunity. But it's an opportunity here to close out a cycle and start a new cycle, the world energy. Could have something to do with the internet, working online, working from home, uh, internet business or something like that. You know, the world, world wide web, so something uh, with the internet in some way, shape or form. But the opportunity is here to start a whole new cycle in life. All right, so one more, one more, three of pentacles. So here we are working on something new, learning something new, working together, teamwork, collaboration. You may have to work with others to learn a new skill. This could be going back to school or, you know, maybe taking some online courses or seminars or something like that to learn, um, you know, higher levels of learning, learning like a whole new craft here and working with others as mentors or whatever here to start this new cycle. So I do see you working on something here, something new, possibly closing out a cycle, starting a new cycle, something with the internet. But if you're unsure, can't make a decision, this King of Winter here is say, get some advice, um, knowledge from someone who's experienced, counselor, legal advice, whatever here on this brand new opportunity. You may be feeling very excited and uh, hopeful about. So I see, uh, could be working on something new here. Starting a whole new cycle. The higher fin is about higher levels of learning, staying committed to the journey. All right, so <clears throat> let's see here. What is this nurturing and ascension? So we have the Five of Pentacles. So it's about, you know, abandonment, loneliness, feeling like you're left out in the cold kind of energy. Um,. And then we do have the Six of Swords. So this is going from feeling, you know, uh, feelings of lack, whether it's monetary or physically, emotionally, or whatever here, and going to a better place, leaving that energy behind and going to a place of peace, harmony, balance. All right. So, so if you you're feeling, I mean, if you're feeling stressed, tired. 
um, you know, not nurturing yourself. This is telling you to nurture yourself, to bring your energy back up to the Six of Swords energy so you can move, start to move forward in a, you know, better place physically, mentally, uh, emotionally here in a balance. So heavy energies here, nurturing yourself, doing what's best for you. All right, so what else here? This is your advice guidance. And there's the balance I just spoke of with the Six of Pentacles. So Six of Swords, Six of Pentacles, you know, nurture by nurturing yourself, getting out of this lack, you know, you see this person limping on a crutch. Looks like their leg is broken. So you may be physically exhausted, physically not feeling well. So you may need to start, you know, drinking more water, eating right, exercising, resting, rejuvenating. And then boom, everything starts to get balanced and feeling, you know, better overall. And you'll feel your vibration rising also as with the ascension there. Knight of Pentacles. So, you know, slow, steady progress moving forward. Slow, steady, practical, wise, um, you know, not doing anything rash, just kind of going going with the flow and just kind of taking it day by day slow and steady wins the race all right being grounded practical all right the fool so starting over starting fresh resetting yourself back to zero so now you're feeling much more refreshed you know it may be a slow process but once you know you rest rejuvenate recuperate Raise your vibration, feeling balanced and healthy again, or whatever it is for you. Now you're ready to get back out there and, you know, whichever way you can. And, like, resetting your energy back to zero and having, like, a new zest for life. Ready to get back out there and bask in the sunshine. All right, one more. The hangman. So, yeah, feeling, you know, maybe you've been kind of, like, putting it off, being stagnant, not doing much. But then, you know, the hangman gains enlightenment, new perspectives, um, goes with the flow and kind of, you know, takes a break, but then gets right back in once their mind is clear and they see things clearly. They come off that tree and they start to move forward. So I see here, you know, definitely nurturing and um, raising your vibration by taking care of yourself in some way, shape or form. Okay, Leo, those are the messages I have for you for your May bonus reading. Best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.